Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that's making headlines around the world. China's latest transport innovation and how it might just be a wake-up call for the US. So get ready, because this is going to be an exciting ride. Let's start by looking at what's happening in China. Over the past few years, China has been pushing the boundaries when it comes to technology and infrastructure. They've made incredible advancements in areas like high-speed rail, electric vehicles, and smart cities. But their latest innovation might be the most impressive yet. China has recently unveiled a new transportation system that combines high-speed rail with futuristic technology. This new system is designed to be faster, more efficient, and more environmentally friendly than anything we've seen before. Imagine traveling from one city to another in a matter of minutes instead of hours. Sounds like science fiction, right? But for China, it's quickly becoming a reality. So, what exactly is this new system? It's called the Maglev 2.0, an upgraded version of the already impressive magnetic levitation trains. These trains use magnetic forces to lift and propel the train forward, reducing friction and allowing for much higher speeds. The new Maglev 2.0 can reach speeds of up to 620 km per hour, or about 385 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, that's more than twice the speed of the fastest trains currently operating in the US. But it's not just about speed. The Maglev 2.0 is also designed to be more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Traditional trains rely on fossil fuels, but the Maglev 2.0 uses electricity and advanced technology to minimize energy consumption. This means lower carbon emissions and a smaller environmental footprint. Now, you might be wondering, how does this impact the US? Well, it's a bit of a wake-up call. While China is making huge strides in transportation, the US has been lagging behind. Our infrastructure is aging and we're still relying heavily on traditional modes of transportation like cars and planes. This not only impacts our daily commutes but also our economy and the environment. Take a moment to think about how much time we spend stuck in traffic or waiting for delayed flights. It's frustrating, right? Now imagine if we had a high-speed train system like China's. We could travel faster, reduce traffic congestion, and even cut down on air travel, which is a major source of carbon emissions. It would be a game-changer for the US. But it's not just about convenience. Investing in high-speed rail and advanced transportation systems could also boost the economy. It would create jobs, stimulate growth, and make the US more competitive on a global scale. Other countries are already investing heavily in these technologies and if we don't catch up, we risk falling behind. To understand the magnitude of China's progress, let's delve a little deeper into their journey. A few decades ago, China's transportation infrastructure was fairly basic. Roads were underdeveloped, and public transportation was limited. But with rapid urbanization and economic growth, the Chinese government made a strategic decision to invest heavily in infrastructure. One of the most notable projects was the development of the high-speed rail network. Starting in the early 2000s, China began building what would become the largest high-speed rail system in the world. Today they have over 38,000 kilometers, about 24,000 miles, of high-speed rail lines, connecting major cities and reducing travel times dramatically. The success of the high-speed rail network laid the foundation for further innovations. The government recognized the need for even faster and more efficient transportation solutions, which led to the development of the Maglev 2.0. This new system is not just about speed, it's also about enhancing the passenger experience. The trains are designed to be ultra-quiet, providing a smooth and comfortable ride. Plus, they feature state-of-the-art technology, such as automated ticketing and advanced safety system. Now let's compare this to the situation in the US, our transportation infrastructure has been in need of an upgrade for quite some time. Many of our roads, bridges, and railways are outdated and in disrepair. According to the American Society of Civil Engineers, the US needs to invest trillions of dollars to bring our infrastructure up to modern standards. While there have been some efforts to improve public transportation and build new rail lines, progress has been slow. Projects often face delays due to funding issues, political disagreements, and regulatory hurdles. 
As a result, many Americans continue to rely on cars and planes for long-distance travel, which contributes to traffic congestion, air pollution, and greenhouse gas emissions. The contrast between China's rapid advancements and the U.S.'s slower progress raises important questions. Why is it that China has been able to achieve so much in such a short period of time? One reason is their centralized decision-making process. In China, the government can quickly mobilize resources and implement large-scale projects without the same level of bureaucracy and opposition that often exists in democratic countries like the U.S. However, it's not just about governance. China's commitment to innovation and investment in technology has also played a crucial role. They have recognized the importance of being a leader in the global transportation industry and they have made it a priority. This is something that the U.S. could learn from. So, what are the potential benefits of the U.S. investing in high-speed rail and advanced transportation systems? First and foremost, it would significantly reduce travel times. Imagine being able to travel from New York to Washington, D.C. in under an hour, or from Los Angeles to San Francisco in just a couple of hours. This would make it much easier for people to commute, visit family, or travel for business. In addition to saving time, high-speed rail would also have environmental benefits. By reducing the number of cars on the road and planes in the sky, we could cut down on carbon emissions and reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. This is especially important as we face the growing threat of climate change. Moreover, investing in high-speed rail could create thousands of jobs. From construction and engineering to maintenance and operations, there would be numerous opportunities for employment. This could help stimulate the economy and provide a much-needed boost to communities across the country. Of course, there are challenges to overcome. Building a high-speed rail network requires significant investment, and it's important to ensure that the projects are financially viable. There's also the need to address potential concerns from local communities such as noise pollution and land use. However, with careful planning and collaboration, these challenges can be managed. Another important consideration is the integration of new technologies. As we look to the future, it's clear that transportation will continue to evolve. Self-driving cars, electric vehicles, and even flying taxis are on the horizon. By investing in high-speed rail, we can create a transportation system that is adaptable and ready to incorporate these innovations. China's latest transport innovation is a wake-up call for the U.S. It highlights the need for us to invest in modern, efficient, and sustainable transportation systems. If we want to remain competitive and address the challenges of the 21st century, we need to take action now. So, let's work together to build a brighter, more connected future. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tech updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think the US should invest more in high-speed rail? What other innovations would you like to see in transportation? I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Vault of Epic Facts channel.